Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa, Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today, we are going to revise question is in the physics all level lenses. Our website is dictoteachers.co. Dot yugi. Here you find notes, exams, and marking guides in the physics, chemistry, biology, math, and primary subjects. Please subscribe to promote this video. Subscription is free. The best secondary school in Uganda is the Science Foundation College. The best primary school in Uganda is the local ages primary school. Number one, which of the following is a correct diagram? A, B, C, and D. You can pause and answer. The answer is C. Here, light would bend towards the fake point. Here it will bend away from the normal because it's from dense media to residence media. Here, from a dense media to residence media, light bends away from the normal. So the, it would be the collective diagram would be like this. Here, it would be, for, it will be focused the focal point. So the right answer is C. Number two, an object is placed a distance of 20 centimeters from a convex lens of focal length 15 centimeters. The type of image formed is A. Inverted and magnified. B. Inverted and diminished. C. Upright and diminished, D, upright and magnified. You can pause and answer. When you look at the question, this is F15, then C, C is third. Also have F which is 15 and then C which is that an object placed between F and C which is 20 here will be inverted and formed beyond C. Inverted, magnified and formed beyond C. So the right objective is A. The ray parallel to the principal axis is refracted through the principal focus. The ray through the optical center will pass and inverted. So the image formed is inverted and magnified. Number three, an object placed between principal focus of a converging lens and its optical center, the image formed is A, real, magnified, and upright. B, real, magnified, and inverted. C, virtual, diminished, and upright. D, virtual, magnified, and upright. You can pause and answer. The answer is B. If you have a lens, then F and F, an object is placed between P and if a parallel 
to the principal axis is refracted through the principal focus. The rays through the optical center passes undiverted. When we extrapolate, the rays backwards, we get an image which is virtual. We get an image which is virtual, magnified, and upright. Number four, a stick with one end immersed in water appear bent at the liquid surface due to A. Diffusion B. Reflection C. Refraction D. Interference. You can pause and answer. The answer is C due to refraction. Away from the bottom of the, the stick will bend away from the normal, from a denser media to lighter media. This is water. So it will appear coming from this position. So when we draw to that position, the stick will appear bent. Number five, a pin pressed in front of a convex lens at a distance less than the focal length. The image formed is A, real, inverted, diminished, B, virtual, elect, magnified, C, real, elect, diminished, D, virtual, inverted, diminished. You can pause and answer. The answer is B. We have already seen that if this is our lens, you have F and F to F or C to F or C. If an object is placed between F and the optical center, a ray parallel to the principal axis, this is the principal axis, is refracted through the principal focus. The rays through the optical center passes undiverted. When we extrapolate these two rays backward, then the image formed image formed is virtual, magnified, and erect. Number six, a point along the principal axis of a convex lens to which rays parallel and close to principal axis focus after refraction through the lens is A, principal focus, B, Center of coverage, C. Optical center, D. Po. You can pause and the answer. The answer is A. Number seven. The figure above shows refraction of light from a distant object by human eye. A. Explain why the eye is not able to see the object clearly. B. What is accommodation? You can pause and answer. So, the human eye is not able to see the object clearly because the image is not formed at the retina or oh, it is formed in the front of the retina. What is the accommodation? 
accommodation accommodation is the ability of the eye to focus images of objects at variable distances from the eye to the retina number eight by using a red diagram show how a virtual image is formed by a converging lens you can pause and answer a converging lens forms a virtual image when the object is placed between the optical center and the principal focus then you can show by a red diagram if this is the lens This is F, this one is F. If the object is placed between F and P, the array parallel to the principal axis is refracted through the principal focus. Array through the optical center passes undiverted. When you extrapolate the two rays, a virtual image which is upright and magnified is formed. Number nine, give differences between pinhole and the lens cameras. You can pause and the answer. In a pinhole camera, image is always focused. In a lens camera, the image may be focused by adjusting the position of the lens from the film. In a pinhole camera, the intensity of light entering the camera is constant. In a lens camera, the intensity of light entering the camera can be valid by adjusting the diaphragm. Number 10. A. Define focal length of a converging lens. B. The focal length of a diverging lens is 10 cm. Calculate the power of the lens. C. State properties of images formed by a concave lens. You can pause and answer. Focal length is the distance between optical center of the lens and the principal focus. Then we have been given that F is equal to 10 centimeters. This one first we change it to meters by dividing by 100 is equal to 10 over 100 which is equal to 0 0.1 then power over lens is equal to 1 over f f in meters which is equal to 0, 1 over 0 0.1 which is equal to 10 Dipose. Properties of images formed by a concave lens. A concave lens always forms virtual images. Virtual images which are diminished. Diminished and upright or Elect number 11. Explain how a lens camera works. You can pause and answer. The question requires that we draw a diagram of a lens camera, then describe the functions of the main parts. The lens focuses light to the film 
the diaphragm controls light entering the camera, the shutter controls expose of light to the film, and the film contains light sensitive pigment where the image is formed. Number 12, using diagrams, explain what is made by short sightedness and long sightedness. Short sightedness is a condition in which a person is unable to see distant objects clear because rays from distant objects are focused in the front of the retina. It is caused by strong lens and big eyeball. It is collected by using a diverging lens. So the, the, the lens diverges the rays slightly so that they can converge by the lens by the converging lens to the retina. Long sightedness is a condition in which a person is unable to see near objects clearly because rays from near objects are focused behind the retina. It is caused by weak lens or by small eyeball. It is collected using a converging lens. So the lens somehow focuses the, 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 the rays before they are focused by the eye lens. This is the eye lens. And this one is the retina. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Our website is digitalteachers.co.ug. Here you find notes, examples, and marking guides for physics, chemistry, biology, math, and primary subjects. Please subscribe to promote our website. Subscription is free. The best secondary school in Uganda is the Science Foundation College. The best primary school in Uganda is the Local of Ages Primary School, Chiwanga. Oh.